So we saved some data and it looked like it went into the database, right? When we successfully saved it, we saw an ID was generated. When we tried to log in with the same or create an account with the same email, we got an error, no, no, that already exists. So it's definitely working. But let's look at the data with my favorite tool for working with MongoDB, Robo3D. It used to be called RoboMongo, Robo3T. So here it is, and you can see just by virtue of calling save that actually connected to the database, created this particular, connected to the server, created this database and the various collections. We only called save on owners, so we only have owners so far. Never mind the fact that we've created the other types. We haven't saved anything there, so it doesn't exist. And we can come down here and we can say view documents, and we actually have the two documents here. Remember, we created two accounts, and we can view them this way. And there you go, we have Michael and my email, Sarah and her email, the registered dates and times, and we no long, we, we don't yet have a snake or a cage because, well, we haven't implemented the ability to do that, but we're gonna have snake ID and cage IDs in here as we create these snakes and cages. This is a really great way to work with the data. If you go back to this mode, you can even edit it and make changes in here if you really wanted to. All right. So definitely recommend installing this. It works on all the platforms. It's free and it's awesome.